yeah, eight months. I have been in Pakistan for eight months. If you spend that much time in a place so intensely, I have been living here very, very intensely, constantly traveling and meeting new people. Well, when you spend that much time in a place, I guess you grow a very special bond with it. And that's how I feel living here. And all the little Pakistani things that have become part of my daily routine and that I have learned to do, including wearing an Najrak pretty much every single day. And then using chai as an excuse to warm up on a cold winter day. Oh, wait, actually, it's not just chai. Parathas stick. And learning Urdu because I want to be able to speak to everybody here. And then, with just a couple of days notice, I got an invitation to leave Pakistan behind and fly to quite literally the other side of the world. So, here I was in San Francisco with Samsung Pakistan, about to witness the launch of the S10 Plus. So this show is just about to begin and to be honest the atmosphere here is super electrifying, it's so buzzing, the aesthetics are totally on point. May I just add one thing, I feel like I am truly representing Pakistan in this Sindhi attack. I felt so lucky to be able to witness this kind of technology and progress on a global stage as an honorary representative from Pakistan. Guys, that was pretty amazing, pretty intense. I'm so impressed, my head is still spinning. <laughs> the new S10 phone has a whole bunch of pretty incredible features that for me, I think especially as a travel vlogger, make a huge difference. So, here's just a few things. So it has an ultra wide lens, 120 degrees, and that really changes the way that you can take wide angle pictures. Super steady camera, which means that action shots become a lot easier. I'm really looking forward to trying that out because I do a lot of action shots when I'm vlogging. The camera helps you with image composition, an AI tool for your camera that tells you to place the subject here or here for a much better picture. Then things that make it really a lot easier to use the phone as a creator. Two things. First is Instagram. <laughs> so the camera on the Samsung actually allows you to upload your photos to Instagram stories immediately. So it has like a little connection where you're in the camera mode, you're in Instagram mode on your camera and then you can just upload. That's it. You don't have to go to the Instagram app. The second thing, which for me as a vlogger specifically or anyone who's into video, this is pretty revolutionary. Now you can actually edit videos straight on the Samsung phone using the Adobe Rush app. So you've got like pretty professional grade editing software on the Samsung phone for video editing. I need one of those phones. Let me try and get one. Also, still rocking the Cindy Adrak. Thank you very much. The atmosphere here is just amazing. You know, everybody's sort of speaking different languages, everybody's talking into their cameras and you know talking about the new product. And no wonder because it's it's pretty spectacular, you know, that camera. That's something I'm really excited about. So I'm looking for one of these phones. I think we should take it out for a little spin. Let's go. And so equipped with my new phone and armed with my favorite Adrak, I decided to check out the city. See, by now I've been more used to the loud and colorful streets of Pakistan than the pristine streets of the USA. So this was quite a new experience for me too. But soon enough, I found my way to a place that reminded me of home. So I've just arrived at Pakwan, which is a Pakistani restaurant here in San Francisco. And you know what, I put out a little shout out on my Instagram story, inviting people to come and join me here. And there's actually five here now, right? For a good couple of hours, we exchanged stories, drank chai and ate samosas and biryani. I find it amazing how these things and great company can make you feel like you are right at home, even if really you are on the other side of the world. And then my tour of San Francisco continued. Of course, I couldn't resist the one thing that every single tourist in the city should do. 
Yep, riding the cable cars of San Francisco. Just the perfect way to spend an afternoon in the city with a lot of great photo ops. So here's the thing, this was so much fun. You know, I can totally see why this is probably the most touristy thing to do in San Francisco. It was so much fun that I'm taking the tram right back. <laughs> Perhaps in some ways, doing the very touristy things in a completely new and different destination, maybe we do them not just because they are kind of fun, but maybe because they also remind us that we are far away from home and that we are with other tourists in a place a little bit unknown, in a place that we might only visit once in our lifetimes. A place that feels great as a passing destination, but a place that cannot compare to home. And you know what? I think that's fine. I think it's so great to venture out and take great photos and have all the touristy fun in the world, but ultimately, I think we all look forward to coming back home. Guess what? That entire second half of the video, the entire San Francisco tour and the incredible meetup that I got to have in San Francisco, all of that was filmed on the Samsung S10 Plus. That's right, you can make a really really good vlog using a mobile phone these days and this phone is a great example of that. For me, ultimately, the most beautiful thing about this device is that I feel like it democratizes the world of video content. Finally, you don't have to invest in expensive camera gear, in laptops, in all of these really, really pricey things. And soon enough, you'll be able to edit videos on the phone using Adobe Rush. I am always keen to see how technology can enable and empower people to express their creativity. And this is another step in the right direction. I had a blast in San Francisco, but I'm so happy to be back. And I'll see you in the next vlog. <laughs>